Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel. And I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. This is part two to my large April book haul. I already did part one, which if you haven't seen, click the eye on the screen and it'll take you to that video where I showed you all the review books that I received as well as books that I got from Joyce Meyer's website and Our Daily Bread Ministries. This second portion is just going to be books that I got from ChristianBook.com as well as from Amazon. So I'm going to start off with Amazon because that's the least amount of, um, that's the place where I got the least amount of books. So I got four books, if I'm not mistaken, from Amazon. The first one is from Michelle McLean Walters, and she is the lady that wrote as the Esther Anointing, the Anna Anointing, the Deborah Anointing, and her most recent, which was the Ruth Anointing. I own all of those books, but I've only read the Esther Anointing, and um, she has a few other books um, that I want to get. But I saw this one and definitely knew I had to get it, and it's called Prayers and Declarations for the Women of God. It's confronting, Confront Strongholds and Stand Firm Against the Enemy. Here's what the book looks like. Um, this wasn't a lot of money on Amazon. I can't remember. It was less than ten dollars. I know that for a fact. Less than ten dollars. But um, it's a cute little small book about the same size as her other books that she wrote. But um, what I like about this is that it's broken into four parts. Five parts actually. The first part is drawing close to God. The second one is inner transformation. Part three is outer transformation. Part four is going deeper, and then part five is becoming a woman of God. And I mean, this is just amazing because of the way it's broken down. And I'm basically going to show you guys quickly. Let's go to page 37. Sorry about that. So here's part two. So you get some information for the chapter. Um. You get some scriptures pertaining to that chapter. You also get some declarations and then a prayer that she has written. And then she gives you space to write your own prayer, which I like. Um, I love using written prayers to jumpstart my own prayers. And I love using the declarations or scriptures to help me say my own personal prayers. Because sometimes, I'm not going to lie, it's very hard for me to think about what to pray. And I know, you know, people overthink it, but sometimes I feel like I don't know it or what. I don't know what to say or how to say things so I think that it's nothing wrong with having a book like this that's handy for you to help you jump start your prayer or even just journaling um, I like to use it for that the next one I got is from Lisa Beveray and you guys if you saw part one you know that I hauled um, adamant which let me show you quickly is her newest book here it is adamant by Lisa Beveray and I decided, since I had that one in her other books, um, which are Lioness Arising as well as um, Without Revival on ebook, I figured why not go and get her other book. So this one is Girls with Swords, How to Carry a Cross Like a Hero. And um, there's a Bible study to this that I definitely want to get, but this is the book. And it says, what if you discovered that you have been entrusted with an invisible, invincible, and incorruptible weapon? Would you use it, move beyond only... Move beyond only study and begin to wield the word of God. So it's just about the Bible being a sword. And um, I'm excited to read this one. Then I got Awaken devotional from Priscilla Shire. Now, because I'm a part of NetGalley and I am, I am a um, book reviewer, book blogger, I have a book blog that doesn't pertain to Daughter of Increase. I have another one which is called Nay's Pink Bookshelf where I review or sort of different books and um, because of that I was able to get an early copy of Awaken via ebook and um, I heard so many people worry about it and because I'm a fan of Priscilla Shire I decided to just purchase a physical copy um, and it is so pretty you guys here it is it's a really thick book this is a 90 day devotional I do have it on e-copy um, but I wanted a physical book because it's so pretty I love the colors with the pink purple orange and the um reddish and yellow color but the book cover itself is also gorgeous and girly um, and this book does come with a bookmark if I can get to it and it is space for you to write in it so I'm excited to dive into this I'm probably not going to get to this till next year though just because I'm doing devotionals as it is now and then the last thing I got was actually this Bible study I've been dying for for a minute. Um, I do own the e-copy of the book, which is Becoming Mom Strong by Heidi St. John. 
But I wanted the Bible study. This is a six-week journey to discover your God call, your God-given calling, and it's called Becoming Mom Strong. This is basically a Bible study and a book for moms. Um, and I thought it was something that would be interesting. So I'm excited, excited, excited to get into this Bible study. So that's what I got off of Amazon. Just four little books, nothing too big. And now we're going to move on to ChristianBook.com. So I've placed maybe a total of six or seven orders with ChristianBook.com. Um, I am still waiting on a box with 18 books to come. And I'm also waiting on one item that's back ordered. So I'm waiting on 19 items still to come from ChristianBook.com. From orders that I placed, but they're not here. They should have been here a week ago. But um, I did call them and they're just resending those books to me. So those will be here Wednesday. But um, I do want to share with you guys everything else. So. I got two things for my son. Um, I got him this, which is the gospel story from the Big Picture Interactive. It's connecting Christ through God's story. And it's just a cute little, I think, 32-page little storybook um, all about Christ. So you have things, let's see. You have how God created the world and the people, Noah and the ark. Isaiah preached about the Messiah. Um, Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, how Jesus was born. Jesus and John the Baptist, the Sermon on the Mount, just key things about the gospel um, that are in here for your kids. Now, my son does have multiple Bibles, kids' Bibles, toddler Bibles um, that he loves, but I thought this would be a good one to also quickly read with him at night, so I got him that. And then I got him this, which I'm going to buy more of these. These are the Reggie Tales movies, and um, when I was younger, my church used to um, play a lot of the Betty Tale movies for youth services because it was something that would help us understand the Word of God better. And I figured I would get my son into it. They do have it on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. So he loves watching it on Netflix, but they had this DVD for $5. Um, and keep in mind, I purchased all this stuff either on the $5 flash sale or the $0.99 cent sale. So, yeah. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how much everything was. Um, this book here, the $0.99 cent sale. The DVD was on the $5 flash sale, and it's the Veggie Tales Let Us Love One Another. It is three movies on one. And, um, yeah, he loves this. He loves playing this multiple times a day. They do have other DVDs for $4, $5, some that are more. So I'm definitely going to get some more for my son. Um, then I got two Bibles, which you guys have seen um, in the Christian book $5 flash sale that I hauled. Um, so I have the devotional Bible here, which is a King James translation from Ellie Clear. It's a devotional Bible for women. And um, let me see if I can find a devotional. I just saw one. Ooh, ooh, where is that? Okay, so the devotionals are like this. There's just one devotional on a page, um, and it is red letter text, but in this case, it would be more so pink letter text. And um, you guys. I am using this as uh, my prayer Bible. So I'm going through the Bible and um, highlighting all the prayers that are in here. Anything pertaining to prayer, such as this one. And I mean, this is going to be a very good Bible for me because I'm really hooked on prayer. So I have the prayer, um, the Jabaz prayer here highlighted. And I do have a color coding system for that. I will do a walkthrough of this Bible soon. Um, and then I have this, which is the NIV Bayou Thin Line Bible. It was five bucks. Um, I was using this as my word of the year Bible where I was going through and um, highlighting anything faith and prayer. But I decided to not use it as that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use it as right now. But I do have the NIV translation. Um, I believe these were five. I don't even know if these were five or 99 cents. But I did get two coloring books. So the first one I have is this. It's Live your life on purpose. Practical wisdom and encouragement from Crystal Payne, the money-saving mom. It's from Majestic Expressions, and it's an inspirational adult coloring book. And I did start on one photo in here. I need to finish it, though. Quickly show you guys. Hope you guys can see this. I did start on this one. And I'm super excited. The quote just says, never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. And um, I thought it was phenomenal. So I'm currently coloring that, working that through. And then I got the five languages, the five love languages coloring book. It's the secret to love that lasts. It's inspirational, also from Majestic Expressions. And it looks like this. And if you guys want to see a flip through, um, let me know. But I like how this is set up. It's from Gary Chapman. 
and there's section one which is keeping the love tank full um, and it's literally broken down into sections with different pictures you can color and I like that you could um, also take these photos out somehow you could probably like rip them out or cut them out and give them to your significant other so um, I don't know if this is this will help but I'm excited for this one and moving on, I have this CD, which is The Garden by Carrie Job Jobe. I've never heard of her before. I literally purchased it because it was on the $5 flash sale. But after I purchased it, I went on to Google Play Music to listen to it. And um, I did love the album. So I'm happy I got it. And it's super pretty. There are 11 songs on here. So I picked that up. And I believe all these little tiny books were 99 cents. Um... So, I have 180 prayers for a woman of God. It's just a book with just full of prayers, different types of prayers. And um, the prayers in here are absolutely phenomenal. Um, rest, a, a prayer for rest, being restored, saved by grace through faith, um, golden words that are needed for blank stares, for coveting, for being the same old me, fixing your thoughts for the music you listen to, like... I think this is really good and again these are great prayer starters for yourself they're great for journaling on they're great to quickly read through and then use them to help you guide your own prayers I love books like this also I have 31 days with God for mothers um, this is an encouraging 31 day devotional with prayers quotations and questions so um, quickly show you guys here's day one so you get your devotional with quotes here for your scripture you get some quotes some questions that you can answer and um, yeah it's just a cute little book for moms they do have one for dads which is another one that I'm missing but um I have the one for moms this is something I want to do with my fiance um, I have how to study the Bible and this just goes through different study methods to use when you're studying the Bible this is a good one to own my mother has this and um, I got this for myself and I got this in a pack with this one, which is Know Your Bible, which is all 66 books explained and applied. So these two came together, but um, basically 99 cents each. This is How to Pray the Best of John Wesley on Prayer. I'm going to consider this a devotional because of the way it's set up. So it's like a devotional on prayer. This one is 199 Promises of God, and this literally just goes through all of the promises from the Bible. This is a good one when you when you want to pray the promises of God over your life. I think this is a good one to have. Again, I like books like this because it helps me to write my own prayers. I do have a prayer wall right here. I have prayer journals. So, um, you know. Um, I got this, which is 40 Days with Jesus Celebrating His Presence by Sarah Young. And it was 99 cents. It's just a small 40-day devotional that she has. And then I got Jesus Lives. It was on the $5 flash sale, if I'm not mistaken. It's by Sarah Young. It's a companion to Jesus Calling, um, which I do own the pink edition you guys have seen. So I have Jesus Calling, and I have Jesus Lives. Um, I know that there's always, there's um, Jesus Always, Jesus Today, and some other ones that are not, I don't think she has them shared in here. Do she? Does she? No. They're not in here, but um, she has other ones that I want to get. I'm trying to see if they're mentioned in here. Nope. But um, I'm excited to get into that. I have the Compact Bible Handbook from Nelson. Um, it's the Nelson Compact Series, the Compact Bible Handbook. This summarizes every book of the Bible. It includes outlines and charts and timelines, and it's written by George Knight and James Edward. This is a good one. Um, I used this recently when I was doing my breakdown of Esther. But um, basically, I'm going to go to, I guess, the book of Hosea. Uh, it gives you information about the book of Hosea, so like the authorship and date. It gives you the keys to Hosea, which are like the key verse, the key chapter, the key words, the historical setting, the theological contribution, the special consideration surveys, um, timelines. There are charts here like that so there's that for all 66 books of the bible in here i think that was five dollars or less can't remember um the woman 
Women of the Word, How to Study the Bible with Both Our Hearts and Our Minds by Jen Wilkin. I do own this on ebook, but I'm, I'm actually happy that I got a physical copy of this. I haven't read it yet on the ebook. And um, this was on the $5 flash sale. And I like this so much because there's a page in here where she shows you how she takes her notes. Um, she goes over James chapter 1, verses 1 through 18, and she shows you exactly how she would do her notes in her Bible. She's using the ESV. I would say this is the ESV single column journaling Bible she was using because it says ESV on the top. So I think that's pretty darn awesome. I'm definitely going to be reading this um, soon. So it goes through different study methods and different ways that people tend to study and then shows you kind of like the correct way to study. So um, good book I've heard so far. Beth Moore praying the words, praying God's word. It's breaking free from spiritual strongholds. Um, I've heard a lot about this. I think I own this on e-reader. You guys know I love e-books, but I tend to like physical books more. I can't remember if this was on a 99 cent sale or the five dollar flash sale. I honestly can't remember, but um, I'm excited to have gotten this book. And it's space in here for you to write your own prayers. Um, so that's that. Then I got two from John MacArthur. Um, I have 12 Ordinary Men, How the Master Shaped His Disciples for Greatness and What He Wants to Do with You. So this is just about the 12 disciples. And how um, it says, who were these men? They weren't saints, they weren't scholars, they weren't even religious sages. They were just ordinary men who had faith, but they sometimes wavered in their faith. And um, how God used them, and how he wants to use you as well. So I like that. And then I got the companion, which is 12 Extraordinary Women. How God Shaped Women of the Bible, and what he wants to do with you. This one, for some reason, includes a study guide over the men's ones, which I think is insane, but it doesn't bother me. Um, this one goes to Ruth, Anna, Martha, and Mary, Mary Magdalene, Sarah, Hannah, the Samaritan woman, um, Jesus' mother Mary, and I'm pretty sure some other women, I think. Uh, let's see. It goes through Eve, Reba, or Rahab, um, and Lydia as well. So, just about those women and how God used them and will use you too, pretty much. Um... Then I have this, which is the American Bible Challenge. It's a Daily Reader, Volume 1, by Troy Schmidt. Um, forwarded by Jeff Foxworthy. And I think this was on a 99 cent book, so, that they had. And it's literally just a challenge. There are weeks in here, week 4, day 6. Um, it says, small but wise, you would read Proverbs 30. Um, it gives you some information, and then it asks you some questions. So it says, like, in Proverbs 30, what do the leeches two daughters cry um the second verse is what makes the ant so wise the third one is the small but wise hyraxes make their home in what um and yeah it's just a challenge to help you um, know your bible more inspired by the first season apparently this was a tv show that i didn't even know nothing about um but it was on gsn and uh, yeah, it just asks you different questions about the Bible. This is basically a nine week of studying. And there are more than 300 questions in here, including what did Jacob call the place where he saw the stairway to heaven? What animal did John the Baptist call Jesus? What was Barbaris's full name? Who was the dealer of the purple cloth who opened her heart to Paul's message? So this asks you questions you would normally know and then some questions you probably wouldn't even know. Um, so I think this is a good one to get your hands on. It was a really good one. And I, if I like this a lot, I'm definitely going to get my hands on the other ones. And the last book that I got, the last one, which is probably my favorite purchase, favorite purchase from Christian Book. And this was on a 99 cent sale, you guys. My mother bought herself a copy. My sister got a copy. It's from Sarah Jake Roberts. Or I think her name was Sarah Jakes at the time that she wrote this. She wasn't married. Yeah, Sarah Jakes. And this is Colliding with Destiny, Finding Hope in the Legacy of Ruth. And I love the book of Ruth. You guys already saw that I did a study on Ruth. I've studied Ruth now maybe two, two or three times already. And I'm going to continue to study Ruth. But this is um, Sarah Jakes' book based off of the story of Ruth. The book of Ruth. And it was 99 cents, you guys. And Sarah Jakes Roberts is definitely somebody that I'm coming to love. I've listened to a few of her sermons and they're mind-blowing. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get into that book, especially because it's about the book of Ruth. And um, it looks like it's going to be a good read. It really does. Really, really does. I think it's like 250, about 250 pages. 
um but yeah that's pretty much it for this haul you guys lots of books um after this if i don't know if i'm going to do a book haul on the order that i'm still missing from them or if i'm just going to um not do that haul and then just show you guys my bookshelf i will be organizing my bookshelf so the bookshelf tour will be coming in may you're gonna see this in may so it's coming this month as i'm recording this it is april 30th monday you will see this tuesday may fit may 1st sorry so um expect that bookshelf tour coming within two weeks because i'm going to be going through my bookshelves just because the books that i have on another shelf have to be moved just because i have so many books i'm gonna organize my shelf again into my bookshelf haul bookshelf tour and i'm also going to be uploading you probably have would have already seen chapters one and two already of the esther study um probably not probably just chapter one um but i will be uploading the esther study that i'm currently leading in the daughter of increase facebook group just because a lot of the ladies in the group have been complaining about um the facebook video when it goes live there's some issues with the video so i figured i would post it here on the youtube channel for them to watch as well as for those of you who aren't in the facebook group or who can't watch the live videos um to see them and i will have a youtube study coming soon on the book of john the gospel of john sorry i'm going to be doing it here on youtube as well as in the facebook group some videos will be live and some videos won't be live just because there are, i think are 21 or 24 chapters of the gospel of luke and sorry the gospel of john so i'll have more information on that coming in may um but yeah that's pretty much it for this video and i thank you guys for watching rating comment and subscribing if you have any questions leave them down below you guys know i will answer your questions um i love answering you guys' questions so never feel like your question is um ridiculous never feel like you're writing too much i appreciate the comments i love interacting with you guys and um that's pretty much it for now so i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.